Okay, so I picked up this uh, Onan generator for 50 bucks, and it's all these data plates are terrible. Basically, it's a 3KW, 3 Onan, 3 OAJ. Um, so the layout on it is pretty pretty straightforward. Uh, it's got a fan on this end, and then this is the governor that kind of runs on that, and then this sets your speed. So this will run your throttle, your governor there. Inside here is a choke, which inside of here is a, a circular uh, fiber thing, and it, what it does is it has nichrome wire on it. So this runs over to 12 volts, and it heats up that nichrome wire, which will basically open the choke. Um, down here, we've got... Uh, I guess it's a fuel regulator or yeah, fuel pump regulator. I don't know. Anyway, and then this is your shutoff valve for the fuel. It runs up here into the carb. Uh, obviously the air cleaner, and this is the control box for it. So you push that to stop, and you hold this down to start it. Uh, got a couple five amp deals there. Uh, the output comes out of the bottom of that box. Um, so it kind of tells a little bit about it there. Uh, it's a single cylinder. This, they call these screamers because they run at 3,600 RPMs as opposed to the other ones which run at 1,800 RPMs. The muffler that I've got on there, this, I don't know exactly what all I had on originally, but this is a piece of one-inch steel pipe. It threads into the, the head. Uh, and on there I just put a metal flange that I got uh, at Lowe's and I bolted it with self-tapping bolts onto this old lawnmower muffler. So we'll see how loud it's going to be. So over on this side, we uh, have the cooling fan, so essentially it draws air in. Uh, yeah, it draws air in through here, through the generator head, which cools it, runs it across the engine, and then out the shroud over here, and it comes out on the bottom. There's a metal mesh screen on the bottom of that. So this is a low oil pressure sending unit there. Um, this is the connect cable that comes out of the top up there. This is, it goes inside. Uh, and for your you know start and stop when you're inside the RV so that's how that works and then the actual power output um, I don't know where that is I have to check it out so um, like I said fuel line uh, I'm sure the power output is on there somewhere coming out of there so it does have a condenser um, 12 volts runs in here one unique thing about these Onans is the fact that they do not have a starter and what it does is it uses When you pull down this button There's a couple windings in the generator head and it acts as a DC Starter which spins the gas engine and then once it starts running you release the start button and You have oil pressure continues to run so the nice part about these are is that they self excite excite which means that if it can sit for years and and not uh, run and then when you go to start it up it magnetizes the coil windings in the actual generator with the engine running and so then it immediately puts out power so this is our 110 volt output uh, it's a three kilowatt generator uh, so that's the neat part because it doesn't have a starter but a normal generator, uh, well I say normal, but all the, the screamers that you buy at the big box stores, if you don't use them for a year or two, whatever, they lose magnetism. And there's a way that you can go back and uh, re-excite those, but if you lost electricity, then it doesn't do you any good because um, there's no, it won't put any, any output. So uh, probably tomorrow we'll get this dude, get a fuel line uh, hooked up to here, put some fuel in the carb, and uh, start this thing up and, and let her run.